Our Deep Learning Day, Counter Don't Cancel, is about our values, what and who informs and influences our values, and how we can have better conversations in our community about misogyny, toxicity and hate. Through a series of workshops led by Year 11 boys, external speakers and teachers, we have supported our Year 8 pupils to explore online influences who are associated with both positive values and also misogyny to look at how social media works to influence us. Uh, I'm expecting maybe to learn like, much more about like equal rights and stuff. Like, maybe to learn like how to challenge you how to deal with it if you see it, for maybe, for example, bullying. I think that's what I'm expecting to see, maybe. Three uh, students from Year 11 here to help uh, all of us to have that kind of conversation. As we start having these conversations, I'm going to ask the Year 11s to go around to the different groups and help them, help them have their conversations. Uh, I think social media has uh, influence on people by showing like things they're into for like example things that are trending like in this month or this week for example it could like it could be used as a tool to like help people but it can actually be a tool to influence people in a bad way So many misogynistic comments, and there was lots of uh, like hateful and homophobic like language. So I wanted uh, to stop this in um, our school. So, so I talked about it, and um, I said that it was it was bad. And but it's in like so um, society. Um, I think a lot of us are influenced. Uh, myself, I'm not really that influenced. I don't really follow social media that much. Um, I think there's been a lot going around with Andrew Tate and stuff. So I think you could call him an influencer to a lot of boys our age. Uh, Andrew Tate's a bit careless and he, um, he talks carelessly about other stuff. Like, he, I don't think he's directly misogynistic, but he links to some misogyny and he might, he's like, to, he's a bit toxic. He advises young people and young people want to be like him. And that's a bad thing because young people have to like choose what they want to be. But it's kind of like uh, Andrew Tate is kind of like giving them a, uh, it's like guidelines or like what to be like. He's posting a lot of misogynistic things and I think that, um, I, as people may know, he's been arrested for, I think it's rape and trafficking. So I think he kind of like, the way he speaks about females isn't that right. But then he does say other stuff. So it's not all bad, but the majority of the time it's really bad. And I think it's quite negative to hear as a 13 year old boy because that's kind of, if we're seeing all these things, we're kind of gonna go by what he's saying. So like, I know for myself not to go with that because that's wrong. And I think that, um, yeah, it's, it's too much. They're good at being in influential because they, they, uh, are very motivational by uh, showing what you could do if you like train like train more to be a person that you inspire to be. The year has explored how critical thinking and fact checking can be really important as we listen to others, find our voice and express our views.
best. Like for example, Andy Tate, um, he targets teams because they're like the more vulnerable. They they're more vulnerable because they haven't made like actual decisions in life that will be needed, as we call it. Uh, you should ask yourself, is this true? Uh, is there a positive message? Uh, what's its purpose? This important work will help us think about the role we all play to promote positive values and for manifesto for the school. <laughs>